All right. So this is a small presentation or a small video to show you guys my DIY solar charger setup. My portable solar charger, mind you. So what I've got here is I've taken apart a uh, four-fold USB charger. It was actually really nice. Got it from Harbor Freight for like 20 bucks. It was well worth it. All right. So that's going to be my setup later for straight to the battery. So what I've done is I've wired it to a female lighter socket with a switch on the positive lead, a 20 amp switch by the way, because this thing, <laughs> it builds up a lot. So I've wired these panels in uh, series because each one put out about 3.5 volts uh, with my halogen lamp plugged in and you know, I did a rough estimate. You know, I'd be getting about eight to ten volts out of each one if they're in direct sun, because they're polymorphous. Um, the reason it kind of looks ghetto right now. I've got the end here. I put my silicone in, but I didn't quite realize that the silicone sweats in heat, so you have to let it bleed out first. And the way you do that is you just open it up a little bit, and you let all the gooey stuff come out. You can't see any now because it's still drying. Okay, now to the battery pack. So, what I did is I took an old Black & Decker. Hold on, I'm going to get a cigarette. I took an old Black & Decker uh, portable jump start, or whatever the, I think it calls it a smart start or simple start or something like that. And uh, it didn't work. I got it from a cousin of mine. And it wasn't working. So I pulled it apart, figured it was just the batteries. And there was a uh, capacitor that had blown as well. So I replaced the capacitor and uh, took out the batteries. And I actually took out the face. I just wanted the face of the actual unit. I'm using the face and the uh, charging adapter here, the car that goes into the car. Now if you see here as well, it's got another 12 volt source and another 12 volt light source. I'm going to use this 12 volt light source to power my um, my free Wi-Fi device. So when I press for the area light, I would actually get free Wi-Fi. And that's a little jammed right now because I had to put it in backwards. But as you can see, it's a pretty cool setup. Now the only issue is, and I got to put a switch. I'm thinking about putting a switch on both of these. Is they're connected to the battery, so I'm getting and the even consistent 12.5 volts. Now, let me show you what my panel is doing. My panel has been putting out quite a lot, up to 24 or 21.5 volts. Right now in partial sun, it's putting out 6.5. You can't really trust that. 6.7. So reading off the line. Everything's golden. We're in half sun right now. It's my backyard and it's early in the morning. And it's reading at 6.8. Starting to bright up, brighten up a little bit. Let's see what happens. 6.9. It's a cloudy day here in Texas. Nice. But still, even at 7 volts, I can power this little guy, and it charges the battery. Pretty quick, too. Like I drained it down yesterday. As you can see, it comes on nicely. Now if we give it a second, it should so show that it's having a full charge. Isn't that nifty? Now when I unplug, okay, I'm not touching anything else. You hear that beep earlier. I'll put this up here so you can see. I'm plugging it in. Ha ha! Now I might have a little bit of a battery drain because I had the uh, voltometer hooked into it. This thing pulls quite a lot. It's a homemade one, so yeah. Uh, let me show you the inside. 
I'm going to figure out a way to actually mount this on the bag. I don't like that just hanging out like that. Why did I do that? Now I've got two sealed lead acid batteries in here. I'm just using that as a filler. And the reason I use the sealed lead acid is because I needed to be able to mount them on the side. I may use this uh, kind of like fiberglass filled electrolytes <clears throat> that they use to actually keep the charge, keep and hold the positive and negative charge. As you can see here, I've got my little wires cut through in. This was an old baby bottle bag, you know, a portable baby carrier bag to keep cold foods and all that kind of stuff, kind of like a portable cooler. I'm actually going to put it in, in the back of my Beetle and I'm going to wire the solar panels here either up under the roof rack which I kind of think would be a good idea or slanted you know put them at an angle here that would limit my exposure but so would mounting it flat up here another possible solution was to make it a window mount system but I'm going to be installing uh, pop-out windows and also putting in tinting so it has to be externally mounted so this is uh, I had considered it putting it at an angle here but that won't work because the aerodynamics if I put it flush up against on one side again we're also talking about limiting the light exposure as well as um, looking like crap I don't know I don't think it would look good so, uh, we'll see what we got going on. That's also a little tour of, the, of Ava lately. I know this is a long video, guys, so bear with me. Alright, I've got my little table set up here because I like to use my Wi-Fi. So, I'm going to mount it under here. I'm not going to mount it. I'm going to store the bag under here. Run a wire from the back down to the outside here. Maybe run it up the uh, pinch welt and then to the lip here. And then from there I can pretty much use the roof rack to protect the wire. So let me go let me know what you guys think. Um, I need my dual battery set up here is the reason I'm doing it. And I go <clears throat> I don't go very far in this thing, but when I do, I normally just go out to have a good time, go out to the lake, you know, have a good, have a good old piece of fun. So I got to get that out of here. This is this might end up mounting in the window, or I'm gonna get one of those min window mount vents from eBay for like ten dollars. So oh yeah, check this out. I also put in. Some more fat mat, and you can hear here. You hear that? Now hear this. That's what it sounded like before. This this does not have the fat mat. This does. See how solid that sounds? How hollow that sounds? So now I need to know some uh, insulation for the hood. How can I do that? Can I use fat mat for that? But that's on another subject. Like I said, here's my solar panels close up, a little closer up. As you can see, oh, you can see the sweat back here. Yeah. And now that silicone sweat is non reactive, so you really don't have to worry about it. But as far as aesthetics, it just looks bad. It doesn't look cool. We all want it to look cool too because it's solar. Oh yeah, my free energy, man. Free energy rocks. Rocks my socks. But it's still charging. I must put a serious drain on that battery. Alright. So, Merry Christmas.